Hello mga kapamilya! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about what are the requirements when applying for a student visa here in Australia. So for those people who are planning to study abroad, this is the video for you. So keep on watching. All right, um, but before anything else, um, I would like to thank all of you, mga kapangilya, for giving me all your support and love every time I upload my new videos. Um, from the bottom of my heart, maraming maraming salamat po. Kakun ka! <laughs> A lot of you keep asking me what are the requirements or steps when applying for a student visa here in Australia. So the first step or requirement is the English language proficiency. Um, ano nga bang English language proficiency? Alakas mga kuya Kim, di ba? <laughs> Um, actually, ang English language proficiency is their basis on how far can you speak, write, listen, and read in English. So for those who are non-English country like us Filipinos, we are required to take this exam. In my case, I took IELTS in the Philippines, meaning um, International English Language Testing System. Um, it takes about um, two to three weeks before you receive your result. Um, the exam fee um, is roughly 10,000 pesos. Um, I will put the exact amount on screen for you guys. The second requirement or step is find a school and course abroad. This is not hard for you guys because you know everything is already up online. So you just have to pick a school and course that is best for you. The third requirement or step is the LOO or the letter of offer. Ang sa akin noon, um, nagbigay sila ng mga kailangan kong documents na ipasa such as my copy of my passport um, my TOR or yung transcript of records third is high school diploma or college diploma once na maipasa mo na yun sa kanila uh, magbibigay na sila ng schedule para sa interview mo online so ako noon um, I interviewed um, via Skype um, it takes about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes yung interview. Uh, kapag nalaman mo na nakapasa ka na rin sa kanila, uh, magbibigay na rin sila ng invoice ng tuition fee mo. Once na mabayaran mo yung tuition fee mo, uh, magbibigay na sila ng confirmation of enrollment para sa lodging ng visa. The fourth requirement is statement of purpose. This is just an essay for lodging a student visa. Um, dapat ang, ang nilalaman ng essay mo or ng statement of purpose mo is why Australia? Bakit hindi other countries like Japan, New Zealand, China, India? Kailangan mong ma, ma, masagot. Kailangan mong ma-justify bakit Australia yung natili mo. And second, kailangan mo rin i-explain sa kanila bakit mo natili yung school na yon and yung course na yon. And third, syempre, i-introduce mo yung sarili mo kung, na, kung ano ba yung employment history mo, kung ano ba yung natapos mo, and such. And lastly, of course, this is important, don't forget to state that you're not intent to stay here in Australia for good. Kailangan mong state sa huli na you are going back to the Philippines after your studies. So, ayun yung kailangan mong um, gawin sa statement of purpose mo. Fifth requirement is 
NBI clearance. Siyempre, ipakita mo naman na babaeng marangal ka, di ba? Wala kang criminal records and all. Sixth requirement is bank statement. If you are working, um, ang kailangan mo lang is payslip, bank statement, or ITR. Pero kapag, uh, pero pwede mo rin naman gamitin yung bank statement ng parents mo or ng family mo. Basta immediate family. Pero ang sabi sa akin dito, um, to grant your visa, dapat um, maipakita mo na financially capable ka. Katulad sa akin, um, tinotal namin lahat ng mga gagastusin ko for my entire stay here in Australia. Lahat-lahat, living expenses, um, plane ticket, tuition fees. So, yung total na yun, dapat ma, dapat pasok dun sa laman ng banko mo or ng banko ng family mo. And seventh requirement is OSHC or Overseas Student Health <laughs> May kodigo kasi ako. Um, OSHC or yung Overseas Student Health Cover mo or yung health insurance mo dito sa Australia. Um, Siyempre, napaka-importante din nila kasi um, once na may mangyari man sa'yo pero wag naman sana, di ba? At least covered ka. May, may gagamitin kang um, ipambabayad dun sa mga medical bills mo and such. And yung OSHC, kapag medyo... Uh, matagal yung uh, stay mo dito sa Australia, syempre mas mahal yung babayaran mong insurance sa kanila. Pero kapag maikli lang naman yung stay mo dito sa Australia, minimal fee lang naman yung babayaran mo sa kanila. And the eighth requirement is uh, medical exam. Um, nagpa-medical ako noon sa St. Luke sa BGC. Um, I forgot na kung magkano yung medical fee nila. Pero yung result ng medical exam ay hindi ibibigay sa iyo mismo. It will automatically send to the Australian Embassy. So, doble ang pressure, mga kapamilya. So, hindi mo malalaman kung bagsak ka ba sa medical exam mo or what. Kasi, wala ka talagang idea eh. Kasi, nung ako nun, um, nagpa-medical ako, uh, sinabi sa akin na medyo mataas yung BP ko nun. Medyo nag-worry ako kasi akala ko hindi ko maipapasa yung medical exam. Pero luckily, I'm here now in Australia. Thank you! <laughs> and lastly, kapag na-collate mo na lahat ang mga documents na sinabi ko before, ready ready ka na mag-apply ng student visa online. Kung wala kang idea kung paano mag-lodge ng visa online, don't worry, may tutulong sa inyo for free service. Ito ang IDP Philippines. Um, kinilungan nila ako na um, mag-ayos ng papers simula umpisa hanggang mag-grant yung visa ko. So, IDP Manila is located at Marco Polo Ortigas. I will put their contact details on screen. Para, uh, para if any one of you are planning to study abroad in the future, um, don't hesitate to contact them because their service is free. Wala pong bayad mga kapamilya. Uulitin ko po, walang bayad. Kaya um, sobrang smooth ng um, transactions namin. Kasi ang ginagawa ko lang is mag-submit ng mag-submit ng mga requirements sa IDP Manila and then sila nang bahala mag-submit noon doon sa university na napili ko tsaka sa Australian Embassy. Kaya wala rin ako masyadong naging problema sa pag-aayos ng papers. Uh, hello nga pala to Miss Marwalin Lau. Um, she's my education agent in IDP Philippines, Manila. And that's it mga kapamilya! Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope um, nagkaroon kayo ng idea kung papaano ba mag-apply ng visa, especially here in Australia. And I think um, lahat naman ng documents na sinabi ko sa inyo is applicable sa lahat ng other countries like New Zealand, Canada, US. Basta tiwala lang at mag-grant yung visa nyo. Thank you for watching!